Yeah. yeah. Back, back. Back like a cat with a snack. Back That's like a cat silly. with a snack. <laughs> silly. Hey, man, we back on it like, out of, like dag on it, man. Hey. Let's go. What we got? So, you seen this thing pop up in the news. It sounds crazy to me. Oh, is that? Oh, my goodness. So, hey, check this out, man. I know everybody saw the thing about Nancy Pelosi's husband. And I'm looking at this picture here, and I see you got that big old gash on the That's mat. That's messed up. So this article, man, this article says, um, Paul Pelosi's frantic 911 call from the bathroom saved him from manic accused child molester. He was an accused child molester. And this dude was also a, some kind of nudist. Yeah. He's, he grossed 100% out of the circle. It's like, how do you even get in to their house? Right. I mean, did they not have like in the, were they not like in the gated community? And if the not, house, the house is millions. It's million dollar houses. So why you, townhome? They said townhome, but still, I'm still is a probably home? a gated community. That's what the article said that so, they had. So he didn't hop this stanking naked self over the fence. Was somehow, he naked when he was over there? It, I don't know. They don't really naked, say he naked was dude naked. Naked dude with a in my bathroom. But how? in the house like how do you even get in that's my question that's what's crazy to me is much money probably this is san francisco so it's very expensive i'm sure in a house probably a townhome is probably multi-millions and how do you get the address is this public information why in there what, shouldn't there be a guard that let you into our town <laughs> oh right and she, what is NASA, so important it's too many things going on look they had the one dude when they broke when the um people raided the um white house Chilled on the decks, and now somebody chilling in the house. Boy, y'all got well, it, it ain't working for y'all. I mean, <laughs> it ain't working for y'all. that's absolutely horrible. So, look, I'm reading this article, man. This article said, Look, check this out. It said, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's elderly husband made a desperate 911 call early Friday from a bathroom in their multi million dollar San Francisco mansion. Not town. It said it was their mansion. Yeah, but keep reading down. It's going to tell you it's a townhome. Likely saving him from the deranged man who beat him with a hammer, authorities said. Suspect David DePapi, 42, had broken into the home in the wee hours of Friday morning, demanding to see the powerful lawmaker who was out of town, according to police. Yeah. What do you mean he was out of town? I don't get it. She was out of town. <laughs> he went to see Nancy, but she wasn't there. She was out of town. Okay who was out of town, according to police. Paul Pelosi, 82, told the intruder he had to use the bathroom where he made the emergency call, speaking in code to a quick-thinking dispatcher. So did, I wonder, did he have, like, his cell phone in his hand, or did he have, like, the bathrooms in there? Because he's elderly. Maybe if you in the bathroom fall, you need to call real quick. Could. Help! Stop it. Life yeah. alert. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Um, when, or a, a, land, a, a phone in the wall where they can just... I don't know. You know, old people probably got the old phone when you pull up just like this. Um, when you have an experienced dispatcher with good instincts, they learn how to read between the lines. San Francisco Police Chief William Scott told reporters um, Pelosi left the call open when he confronted the suspect. Scott said the dispatcher was able to tell something was amiss without Pelosi alarming the suspect, according to police. I'm going to play the video at the end to see what they said. Said, what's going on? Why are you here? Why? What are you? What are you said, doing to what me? are you doing to me? Pelosi said, "Why the dispatcher listened in? She knew something was more. More was going on. She's just in her heart and her intuition, just with her experience." Scott said, "And that calls for a higher priority than this type of call normally receives." So, so glad. Let me just stop here. So good that the dispatcher paid attention. And then just release the call right away to be able to be able to see what is going on behind the scenes. You know, right. What's really going on. What That's going crazy. On. This was a well, well-being check mm -hmm. and she just knew there was more to it. So she alerted her officers. She went extra step and that led to a quicker response. When police arrived at the power couple's posh Pacific Heights townhome. Townhome. That's weird. They said mega mansion in town. I mean, townhome. Like, how does that work? Go ahead. They witnessed the two men struggling for control of a hammer. So they walked in and it, it was going down. So they Which, got there like 
Because once once the dispatcher knew who he was, I mean, that's not like, I mean, of course you want to make a mad dash for every citizen, yeah. but that's not like just, they have priority because of prominence. I know. Which the suspect grabbed and used to beat his victim over the head and body. Paul Pelosi underwent surgery Friday for a fractured skull mm -hmm. and other injuries, mm -hmm. but is expected to recover. Yes. The Pappy was described as a troubled Canadian-born transient mm -hmm. and nudist with extreme political views. And a woman who described herself as his daughter said Friday he molested her and her brothers when they were children. Gross. I mean, that's... That's... Why even tell that information out? Yeah, that was a little extra, but... but <laughs> That's um, what I was wondering when I was like, why is that, why is that important in this situation right here? Who is, is that Investigator Gonzalez? Is that... Mm -hmm. I, is that I, well, I don't know. I just says... What I, is N -T, N -T, N -T, Gonzalez. N.T. Gonzalez, who said her mother went to... The name of the ...met the poppy when she was pregnant with, with her and then began a long relationship with them, wrote in a blog post that the poppy molested her and her brothers who she said were the poppy's biological son in the Daily Mail reported. In the post, which has since been taken down, Gonzalez referred to the pappy as her father and said she still loves him, but she said he is a dangerous lunatic. The attack on Nancy Pelosi's husband came as a shock to me, though not much considering the kind of extreme abuse he had inflicted on me and my brothers, Gonzalez wrote, adding that her mother threw the poppy out of the home when she found out about the abuse. I didn't see this coming and there was no sign of possibility from possibility from his end. I love my father, she continued in the blog post. He did genuinely try to be a good person, but the monster in him was always too strong for him to be safe to be safe to be around wow. the demonic spirits. Um, the US Capitol US Capitol Police, FBI and San Francisco Police Department are conducting a joint investigation in the attack. According to the Capitol Police, the poppy has so far been charged with attempted homicide, assault with a deadly weapon, elderly abuse, burglary, and several other additional felonies. Wow. Man, why? why and we, I'm going to play it real quick. I'm going to just hear what the... I'm going to play this to, through the mic. I want to see how this... If it will come through. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. I know what... What he had a top four car, pay priority nine ten two six four zero Broadway across the Scott and North Street. Pay number fourteen hour copy. RP stated that there's a male in the home and that he's going to wait for his wife. RP stated that he doesn't know who the male is, but he advised that his name is David and that he is a friend. RP sounded somewhat confused. He is a friend. RP sounded somewhat confused. Control over back and copy. Yeah. So he was okay. like, based off what he said, you can't be a friend, and, and I'm asking you why you here. Yeah. You know, and that's what led him to be, okay, it's not your friend. So, so smart. It's like, mm, something don't feel right. Exactly. Thank goodness. But so what you want to talk to Pelosi about? No, he didn't want to talk to him. He wanted to, he, if he got extreme political views, I wonder what side he was on because you don't break in. So she's a Democrat. I wonder what his views was because I don't know any conservatives that want to like break, go in your house. I mean, so he must have been so, on something crazy. And first of all, to me, first of all, if you're a nudist, you already nuts to me. I'm sorry. Just being real. I'm just, you know, I'm not just being truthful. Um, and then they got that, the post about the child molestation. So it just brings, and he lucky because I would, man, you so jump nudist, on me. Why, why just... y'all ain't shoot that man down in the house, man? Well, he got a hammer, man. Pot, top, top, pot, top. But, but how, he, you know, he's 82. Where's the gun? I'm talking the police killing oh. the, the, the hammer man. Mm, that may not have been a cause for them to. He's to got shoot. a hammer. They, they don't want to, they don't want to just go in there and shoot up people. They going through it. You already had somebody chilling out there, chilling on your desk, like they were the foot up, like bam. And then now you got somebody that came in the house. It's one thing at the White House, but in the house, it's totally different. Exactly. That's in, your per, in your personal crib, that's crazy. And that's my crowd. Like, how is the information so out there? I'm not a fan one. of Nancy Pelosi, but I'm not a, I don't care what side you're on, red or blue. You don't want to just straight up go in people's cribs, even though I'm not a fan of Pelosi's political opinions or what she says. Um, Come on now, we all human. We gotta, we still have to not be evil, right? That's evil. Yeah. That man, lucky that it was just an um, the elderly man in there, because 
You ain't got my house. You wouldn't have left that house. You wouldn't have yeah. not have left my house. You yeah. Been. So he just found the right one to jump on because that would have been crazy. What if Nance fell on me? He would have, you don't know, he would have, that was a woman too. That would have been different. Yeah, it would have been ugly. But with a hammer, I mean, at least you're able to with a some, hammer. How you how'd you get in that far with a hammer? How'd you get that far? I don't know. You jump the fence, do the hammer over, you jump over too, go get your hammer. That's uh, like so I'm trying to figure out how did you even get in? Did you tailgate somebody? You know, because I just have to give them the benefit of the doubt of having of being in a gated community. All I know is, man, it seemed like y'all's protection wall is down man y'all need to get to do some praying because if, if you all she almost got you almost got attacked and he almost got attacked it looked like y'all need to get to do some praying or something because y'all defense wall is is open yeah that's what i see i'm not, i'm saying it from i'm gonna say this just part from a neutral spiritual standpoint mm -hmm. is something is wrong if mm -hmm. somebody if if you and already got we already know what happened on the political on the um what happened in January of 2021. Mm -hmm. Not going to go into that. Um, you know, certain things are cool, certain things not cool about that. But the safety of somebody, I don't know, man. I'm I'm, a, I'm still for it. You know, we, God still want us to love. And, you know, even though our political views might not agree with, agree on with them per se, still call to love. You still call to love. Don't go hurt nobody. Yeah. Yeah. I agree completely. I agree completely. That's why my question is, you know, what is it so bad that you're that you are in opposition with against her that you're going, that you're willing to go to a person's home to do harm to them based off whatever this view is that lets you know this person isn't isn't thinking rationally. You know what I'm saying? Isn't their mind, you know, ain't on level thinking because I already got oh, that's well, I, insanity. I already got I already got this i still have a level of frustration for molesters but um i wouldn't even know now i wonder why they put that out. i guess they're trying to prove make it show the point all the, well, the rappings of a crazy person yeah they're of course they want to add more to the famous character you know he, you already did this so let's just go ahead and drag your name through the, through the mud even more or yeah. even state even more facts that you know something that people have said you know about you that's yeah. what they do they want to prove even more as to why you know, you could do something like that. But they need to get to praying because both of them and they went to experience where y'all about to get hurt. And it's both and it's always on something political where y'all both about to get hurt. Because they came to hurt her. If she would have been home, she might she a elderly woman. He an elderly man. It's still a difference. There is a difference between a man and a woman and the strength, even at an old age. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference. Uh -huh. So that's crazy. Um, I pray. For, I don't pray. Even though, like I said, political views don't match up. I'm praying nobody get hurt, man. That's that's not it. Yeah. So, all right, man. Like, comment, Alexa, subscribe. Off. Don't take a nose dive, but comment in the section below if you want to see some more. Drop it. You know what I'm saying? We definitely, I definitely read the comments and we put them up. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's go, man. Yeah. Nah.